vasoconstriction for dummies. Let's look at the word vasoconstriction. If we get rid of the constriction, we get the word vaso. Vaso basically means vessel. In this case, it refers to a blood vessel. The word constriction means to draw or press in, to cause to contract or shrink, or to compress. Therefore, the word vasoconstriction means when blood vessels constrict or get smaller. But why does vasoconstriction occur? Vasoconstriction is part of a much larger bodily system called thermoregulation. Human beings are warm-blooded organisms, meaning we need to keep our body temperature the same for our body to work. Thermoregulation is the process by which our body maintains its normal body temperature, which is approximately 37 degrees Celsius. It does this through sweating, shivering, vasodilation, and vasoconstriction. Vasoconstriction occurs when the temperature outside the body is colder than 37 degrees, so the body needs to keep warm in order to keep working. So how does vasoconstriction work? In this example, let's make the train track the blood vessels, and the train the blood travelling through it. The blood travels down the vessel until it reaches the surface of the skin. When it reaches the edge of the vessel, the heat in the blood is lost through the skin, making the blood colder. The cold blood then travels back through the peripheral vessel and back into the body. If our body did nothing, our blood would get too cold and our bodies would shut down. When the temperature outside is colder than the body temperature, the brain releases a hormone called adrenaline. The adrenaline travels to a small peripheral blood vessels near the surface of the skin. The adrenaline causes the peripheral blood vessels to constrict, limiting the blood flow to the surface of the skin. Most of the blood is then redirected along shunt vessels, which connect parallel peripheral vessels. This means the blood doesn't travel as close to the cold outside environment on the surface of the skin, and therefore loses less heat. So that's basically vasoconstriction in a nutshell.